Good day, YouTube fam. Welcome to Tech and Armory. This is just going to be a short video showing you how to punish these seven Elisa moves. Elisa can get away with minor damage against some of these moves if you do not punish it properly. Without further ado, let's go! This is Elisa's back three, too. It is one of Elisa's tornado moves and it is commonly used in combos. In case Elisa mistakenly used this, you should learn how to punish this properly. The wrong way to punish this is to use jabs or any quick moves that could cause her to float. Although this is okay, it is still best to use something like a 15-frame launcher to punish this. Because if you used a 15-frame launcher, it will punish Elisa when she is on the ground, making the combo better since there is no damage reduction caused by floating. This is Elisa's back three plus four, three plus four. The second hit gives Elisa plus six on block. As you can see, there is quite a huge gap between the moves. You may be tempted to interrupt it, but as you notice, she is flying, so the damage that you will deal will be less effective. So for this move, we recommend you sidewalk right after the first one and attempt to grab her from behind. If you know a quick back turn combo, you can try using it too. The grab or throw will be unbreakable since you used it from behind. This is Elisa's back 4-4 four, four into boot. This is one of Elisa's whiff punishers, so you may see it a lot. In case she does it late and you block it, you need to know how to punish it properly. After doing back 4-4 four, four on block, she has two main choices after. She can press 4 or 3 after the move to fly in boot stance towards you. Or she can choose to not do that and stay. Both situations are punishable. For the first one where she boots towards you, you can try starting with a move that will float her and then just continue the combo. For the other one where she stays, she is actually on minus 37. That is a lot of time to run at her and launch her. Forward forward moves work best in punishing this. This is Elisa's down three. If you check the frame data, it is listed as minus 10 on block. But in reality, it is launch punishable on most distances. Sometimes the frame data shows the true data after waiting a while. For short and middle range distance, this move should be minus 19 on block. For a bit further distance, this will be minus 17 on block. And for the tip range, remember that it is no longer launch punishable. You can still try to punish starting from a while standing 13 frame punisher. This is Elisa's Chainsaw Hell Sweep. This Hell Sweep can only be done during dual boot, which is the flying with chainsaws stance. First, to defend against this, you need to guard low and stand up to guard the middle. Then feel free to use a launcher as it is launch punishable. This is Elisa's up forward 3-2. It is minus 14 on block. However, Elisa can choose to do just up forward 3 to land far, or she can do up forward 3 then 3 to fly towards you. This is similar to the back 4-4 four, four situations earlier, where in, upon landing far, she is very punishable, you just need to run at her and launch her. Well, when she is flying to you, you just need to do a floating combo. If you want to know more on how to punish Elisa, check out this video here. Guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Feel free to comment your feedbacks and suggestions. Also, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to watch more content like this.